Hey guys, Luke here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be machining these small heat sinks, which install to a uh, racing drone uh, electronic speed controller. Uh, I'm just going to be making four prototype ones, so I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to go about that um, and the methods that I've chosen. And yeah, we'll go a little bit over the cam stuff and watch it be machined. Um, ultimately, I'm going to have it uh, anodized and and I'll probably laser something on there too, so I'll show you the final prototype. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get stuck into it. This here is the uh, is what I'm hoping the final uh, heatsink will look like. Um, the base is actually going to be just printed from uh, PET G material, and this will be the aluminium part, which is anodized black. Uh, and what I've done is I've made a fixture to hold down the stock and actually hold the parts from the back side. They'll be held in place by uh, some M3 uh, socket cap head screws, like so. And then I'm basically gonna adaptive clear them out, do finishing passes and the chamfering and, and the uh, countersinks in this orientation. And then once that's all cleared out, I'm going to hold the part in the vise vertically by using the same fixture and I'm going to come in with a slitting saw and I'm going to create these fins here so they're only 1.5 millimeters tall with a 1.5 millimeter gap as well so that's how I'm going to go about that um, I'm expecting there to be a few burrs after I I go about machining it so the plan is to blast the the heat sinks um, in the blasting cabinet that we have before we send them off to anodizing so yeah, hopefully it all goes to plan, but stick with me and we'll, we'll see what happens. Below the computer here, I've got the actual stock, which I've already cut to size. So I'm going to start by drilling and tapping some holes into the, the stock, which I'm actually going to machine the parts out of. And then once I've done that, I'm going to drill and counterbore some holes into the fixture plate so I can screw, screw down the stock to the fixture plate and hold it in place and then we can get stuck into the first operation. So right now the machine is drilling and tapping these bottom holes on the on the underside of the parts. Just finished. That's all good, now we can do the fix. Just finished the counter boards on the fixture. Okay, everything went to plan. I've got my M3 tapped holes in my stock that I'm gonna machine away. And these are the holes and counter boards in the fixture plate with the bolts already in there. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit of Loctite and let that set for a little bit. I'm going to go and make a coffee uh, for some extra good luck. So I'm just, fingers crossed those bolts don't back out. That's looking like that now. Pretty close, huh? Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go and have a coffee and just let this sit for a while and let the Loctite set a little bit and then up one, here we go. Well, we're looking great so far. Uh, finished that operation successfully, and now it's time to flip it on its end and do the slits for the fins with the slitting saw. The real scary part. <laughs> nah, it should be fine. So just finished um, 
cleaning up these bores with a six millimeter kind of long end mill. Okay, onto the sluting saw now. Well, there you have it guys, the, the slotting was done and I've given them a quick blast. There is a little bit more deburring to go just on the edge of these holes here because my, my drill was a little bit dull, but yeah. Um, drop them off to the anodizer and then yeah, I'll show you the them installed on the drone. And that's it, quick prototype heatsink. Small change of plans. Uh, haven't had time to get the aluminium heat sinks anodized. Uh, they just had to go onto this prototype aircraft straight away. So yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys how they mounted up. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. I think they'd look a lot better in black, but you know, kind of stands out. Pretty sweet. Anyway, that's how I went about making them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this is a pretty big quad in terms of FPV. It's for a film, not a film camera, but like a, a relatively large cinema style camera and this is like my fpv drone with a gopro on it for for scale this is a seven inch so this is already on the larger end of fpv stuff but yeah that's that's it sort of a size comparison and these are 13 inch propellers a 12s machine it goes pretty hard makes some serious noise so some good fun too anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video um Sorry I didn't get around to anodizing it in the finished product, but it's just the way it is sometimes. Um, yeah, let me know what you think, and I'll see you on the next one.